Lost Island has just announced a new coaster for the 2025 season. If you've never been to Lost Island, I suggest you make the trip out to Iowa. Now this place is in the middle of a cornfield and farming community. It almost doesn't look like it belongs there. But boy did they do a wonderful job on this park and they are just going to keep adding. I think in the future we could really see this park have seven or eight coasters. I think they want to rapidly expand because they're just not getting the guests. What's going on everyone? My name is Rich. This is Theme Park Motivation and I'm going to talk a little bit about this brand new coaster. I think it's a phenomenal idea. I think that they are in dire need of a new RMC because let's face it, any park that has added an RMC to their lineup saw massive spikes in attendance. I have always said this for the longest time, RMCs bring people to parks. I am going to give you my thoughts on what I could possibly see this coaster being very similar to and I would absolutely love to hear what everybody else thinks. So what do we know about this coaster? We know that it's an RMC single rail. It's got roughly 1950 feet of track, which means it's about 150 foot more track than Wonder Woman Golden Lasso. And in my opinion, all of the stats pretty much line up to the smaller scale single rail coasters that RMC has to offer, except it appears that it's about 150 foot longer. So I don't know if that's gonna make much of a difference, but even the 52 miles per hour, that's roughly the same as Golden Lasso. If you do take notice of the first drop, it doesn't appear to have a 90 degree first drop like Golden Lasso does. So I don't know if that makes much of a difference or not, but we'll see. I do know that Golden Lasso has some incredible pacing. I mean, this thing flies through the layout in like 35 seconds. So maybe that could play a role in the pacing, not quite being as good as Golden Lasso's. You might get a longer ride time, which I don't think too many people care about. I think I would rather have the pacing over a longer ride time, but that's just me. I would love to know what everybody else thinks. Do you think that this is a good fit for Lost Island? Do you think it's a wise investment for them? And what are your thoughts on RMC and the future of RMC? Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching.